Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to or welcome back to Kovacs Corner with another Kovacs Reacts. We out here, we chillin'. We're about to take another look at Loom Yu-Gi-Oh. Make sure you go and you check his channel out. He has a bunch of content to check out. I've been going through his channel for the past little bit here. Like, gonna be reacting to this one, but we're gonna be reacting to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh player caught using a fake card two weeks ago. And as always, video link and also the creator page is going to be down in the description below feel free hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down in the description as well and if you want to support the channel feel free to become a member it would help out a lot in order for me to keep doing this <laughs> i'm just playing a like and a sub is all we need over here but we are about to get into it Yu-Gi-Oh player caught using a fake card let's see how this played out. The year was 2018. Kendrick was singing about some stars, Weebs began their unhealthy obsession over a certain bunny girl, <laughs> and WPWT3026 was about to attend a local Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Now for the sake of simplicity and to avoid- So some things that people need to recognize who play like uh, Duel Links and like Master Duel and stuff like that is IRL Yu-Gi-Oh is completely different. It's one one thousand percent different because you're sitting across from somebody. You got like mad people around you. It's a bunch of noise continuously, people talking, trying to figure stuff out. Not only that, you got people looking over your shoulder, checking out your deck, the way how you play your deck, so on and so forth. It's a lot more added pressure compared to like if you're just chilling at home behind a keyboard playing. You know what I mean? Avoid me sounding like I'm having a stroke whenever I mention their name. We're just gonna call them WP for the rest of the video. WP. This tournament was coming right off the back of a very significant ban list that had quite severely weakened the best deck at the time, Spiral, and allowed a whole bunch of other decks to begin at taking the spotlight. Burning Abyss, True Draco, Trickstar, Pen to the Magician, and quite a few others. Unfortunately though for our protagonist, because this was such a brand new format, he hadn't had enough time to practice or prepare a proper deck for the upcoming meta. As Is this around the time when Pendulum started being like, introduced into regular play, I feel? Or it was kind of like a new kind of card being able to, being able to play it on the field and whatever with a bunch of new effects? The bunch of his cards were still coming in the mail. So he decided, screw it. For this event, he was going to mess around and whip out some red eyes, in combination nice. with a card called Galaxy Tomahawk. Oh, nice. Now, admittedly, this card is pretty busted, and had to be banned a few years later due to how insane it was at generating free material to be used for Link summoning. I remember when it got banned on Duel Links. But at the time, it wasn't really considered that big of a problem, especially when being summoned in red eyes of all things. So w I could be wrong, it could be Master Duel that I'm thinking about, one of the two. WP was rocking up to this event with a bit of a meme deck, but to be fair, I don't think it really mattered what he brought, as no amount of preparation could have possibly prepared him for what he was about to face in round one of this event. It was round one- So you can't even hate on Red Eyes decks, man. Red Eyes decks are actually OPAF. Because all the support that it ended up getting, sure that there's a bunch of other decks that you're able to use the support with, but it got support. And right now, the new tin that's coming out for uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG is Blue Eyes based, so Blue Eyes is about to get a bunch of support as well. They've been trying to throw support out there for Blue Eyes. I feel that like either the next YCS or the YCS after that, top deck's going to be a Blue Eyes deck he was about to face in round one of this event. It was round one of the event, and as WP seated himself at the table, he noticed a large amount of new faces around the room. Turns out, due to the excitement generated by this brand new ban list, this tournament had a way larger turnout than normal, and had drawn in quite a few non-regulars. And one of these unfamiliar faces now sat across from him as his opponent. They exchanged pleasantries, and everything seemed pretty normal at first. So both players picked up a die and rolled it, with the winner deciding who gets to go first. WP rolled low, so his opponent chose to go first, and this is where it became very apparent 
this wasn't going to be an ordinary game of Yu-Gi-Oh. His opponent picks up 5 cards to form his starting hand, and proceeds, in what was clearly a very well rehearsed anime protagonist voice, to declare, I activate the spell card, a hero lives. It allows me to special summon any elemental hero monster directly from my deck. To he then immediately picked up his deck, and began sifting through it. So, just imagine going up against someone who wants to be like, uh, an anime protagonist, or, yeah, anime protagonist as a duelist and stuff, just throwing out the voices and stuff like that, straight anime styles, that's jokes. WP paused for a moment, a little stunned by the sudden appearance of Jade and Yuki across from him, before stating, uh, I'd like to chain Ash Blossom. For you on yu gi oh players out there, this is simply a card that can be used from hand to negate searches or summons just like this one. His opponent stopped, and slowly looked up, with a completely puzzled expression on his face. You can't use that, it's my turn. Before returning to sitting through his deck. Tch. Oh boy. One quick judge call later, and one not so quick explanation later, Hold and this the game's out. tape returned to normal, <laughs> so the duel resumed. Unfortunately though for the rest of the game, it was very one-sided and very uneventful, as the Ash Blossom had completely stunted his opponent and caused him to pass on essentially nothing, leading to an incredibly quick Red Eyes beatdown on the following turn. Nice. Game 2. His opponent being the loser elects to go first once again, and to WP's complete surprise, as he thought this guy must be a complete newbie at this point, watched his opponent started popping the fuck off. This man, despite not knowing how the single most popular card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh worked, clearly knew exactly how his hero deck functioned, as he began comboing off into hero, after hero, after hero, after he- uh, <laughs> Yeah, we might have a small problem. WP noticed something as he watched his opponent combo. His opponent just summoned Extra Wonder Driver. Now normally, this wouldn't be a problem. He used the correct materials, he placed it in the right zone, there wasn't any restrictions stopping him from summoning this thing, it was a completely legal summon. There was just one tinsy tiny little problem. Extra Hero Wonder Driver hadn't been released yet. The car- It hadn't been released yet. Wow. Wow, what a reach. What a reach, man. Everybody will spot that if it hasn't been released yet. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> he, he wanted to win. The card now placed directly in front of him was a card WP had recognized from a promotion he'd seen for an upcoming set later that year. WP leans forward in his chair and stares at the card before asking his opponent, Uh, where did you get this? His opponent, while still in character mind you, responded, I got it from eBay. It's <laughs> like you typically expect a protagonist to say, but regardless, WP politely asked if he could take a closer look at the driver. He picked up the card and began the examination. Sure enough, this was most definitely a fake card. There was no set number, no shiny square in the bottom right, the card was as stiff as a brick, this was faker than a Kardashian's behind. At this point, WP slowly returns the card, before looking up his opponent. He then began trying to explain to him this card was completely fake, whilst pointing out the various different features the card was missing. For the So like, the number one feature always is in the bottom corner to find the hologram, and there has to be like a Millennium Eye in it. Uh, gold for first edition, and for others, it's silver. Yeah, like 100%. If you don't got that on top of <clears throat> the way how the card probably looked, felt, the way how it's getting described, it's almost like a uh, back of a cereal box. You know? <laughs> fake, whilst pointing out the various different features the card was missing. It's probably like super shiny too. Not like holographic shiny, just like laminated shiny. For the very first time this match, his opponent broke character. All prior emotion began deflating from this poor guy's face as the realization began to sink in. Not only had he been scammed by some random dude on eBay, but he had now been embarrassed by not knowing the difference between a real and an obviously fake card <laughs> that he attempted to use in a real match. 
Seeing the despair on his opponent's face, WP felt incredibly bad for the guy at this point. So he decided instead of calling for a judge, you know what, screw it. The card's going to be available soon anyway, so I don't mind if you want to use it for the rest of this game. A smile began creeping back onto it. So it's like, that's cool and all, he's being a nice guy. Realistically, I'd be like, I've already won. Like, this game is over. But we can continue to play. And you could use this fake card so that we can see how how it's going to play on the mat, how to interact with the card correctly. To his opponent's face, who immediately jumped back into character before playing out the rest of his turn, setting up a pretty formidable field of hero monsters. Only to then get completely and utterly pounded two seconds later. As it turns out, WP wasn't actually just being a good Samaritan by letting them play the fake. They just yeah, knew Dark that no matter didn't. what, fake or not, they were going to obliterate any hero Enfield as they had drawn an actual god hand. So after a quick pounding, the score was now 2-0. WP had won the match. Now as for what happened at the rest of this tournament, unfortunately, nobody really knows, as this is where WP WT 3026's post sadly concluded. So that's gonna mark the end of today. It's like right after that duel, he's just like, nah man, I, I don't need to talk about it anymore. Like that was the craziest duel, nothing's gonna top that, right? That's how I could that's how I see him interacting with it anyway. His tail. But before you guys all head off, I'm currently on the lookout for great stories just like this one that I could potentially turn into other videos. So if you happen to have a great story to tell yourself of your time playing in an event, or just even know of some cool story and would like to share it down below, feel free to leave the story in the comments down below. Just make sure to leave as much info as possible, as it makes it way easier to make these videos if I actually have some sort of context to build around. If you enjoyed this and would like to see more, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've also started a playlist that will contain all my documentary slash story style content for you guys who are interested in checking out more tales just like this one. Link at the top of the description. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Laters. So like huge shout out to Loom Yu-Gi-Oh for allowing us to react to the video. That's crazy. You go in, you're waiting for cards to come through in the mail and you're like fuck it, go with the red eyes deck just to like troll a little bit I guess and then you end up your first opponent the person that you're going up against has a fake card <laughs> acting like an anime uh, protagonist be like I summon this hero and that hero and this hero so I can link summon this hero it's like bruh it's not real dog <laughs> that's funny good sportsmanship though it was like great sportsmanship on uh, Dub P WP but yeah, no, man, let's go and do it for this one. Make sure that you go and you check out Loom Yu-Gi-Oh's page. It's going to be down in the description so that you can catch up on a bunch more stories that uh, that he gets into about Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, the video link is going to be down in the description as well. Feel free to hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms. That's also down in the description. And feel free to become a member of the channel to support the channel. If not, like and sub is all we need over here. I appreciate every single one of you for coming through. And until next time, man, peace.